So I really was outdated. When I got a limo to go to my prom, I was just not really with it. Uh, what, are the, what are the kids taking now? The trend is to bigger and bigger vehicles, according to Prom Guide magazine. We're seeing the kids go from stretch limos and stretch Humvees to stretch SUVs, and now the double-decker party bus with a dance floor, two stories, and two wet bars. What does something like that cost? About $120 per student, a total of, I believe it's 60 students uh, per engagement. Now we're going to get designer limo on Long Island. We're going to get back to some of these uh, these avant-garde ways to get to the prom, but we're spending some astounding amounts of money just on on, on all prom uh, activities. Is that right? I was astonished. Visa did a survey and found that prom spending is, is up 33% to an average of $1,078 per family. Uh, and that includes everything, of course, clothes, food, etc. Really, uh, parents are spending on their kids. I think it's sort of a last hurrah. Now, I'm trying to figure out how these, this woman in, Wis I think it's Wisconsin, got to her prom on an elephant. So how does that work with the dress? I can't even, like, imagine. Is she riding side saddle on the elephant? How does this, how does this go? There was a side saddle like apparatus that actually gave her a chair to sit on, and she uh, she donned some Indian garb, and they had a wonderful time. She said there was no after aroma, and uh, the, <laughs> her boyfriend borrowed this uh, baby elephant, Luella, from a petting zoo. It worked out great. They're still talking about it there in Wisconsin, even though it's been a couple of decades. Yeah, that is pretty hard to top, though. I think these two guys who have rented a fire truck, um, they, they, they may come pretty close. Who are they? Uh, three Racine, Wisconsin young men have uh, a vintage fire truck, 1972, that a uh, family friend is engaged for them, and they're going to show up uh, at their prom party uh, with the sirens and uh, bells going, and uh, they're excited about it. They're going to be the group that's remembered. What about the hose? Are they going to be using the hose? I hope none of the women are wearing white at the prom, if that's the case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not going to be allowed, although they certainly would if they could. Are there any, so speaking of being allowed, are there any crackdowns, uh, you know, by some of the prom uh, supervisors on these rides? Is anything, you know, off limits? Could you, could you parachute from a plane? Could you land a helicopter there at school? So many prom organizers told me they get a request for to land helicopters, to drive uh, military vehicles, um, and there always are rules against that. Kids would rent uh, army tanks if they could. It just costs so much to drive those or get them transported to the site. So there are limits, and uh, the teenagers' imaginations, of course, have none. So uh, it continues to be fascinating each year.